Study and dedicate all of your time, all of your time, mastering the craft of selling until you can be in the negotiation and see what will happen before it even happens. Hey Andy. Yes. I do have a question. Do you have a good word track for someone? Like this doesn't happen too often, but I like to have a ammo for everything. Spit it out, sunshine. Pray. What do you want? I need to pray about it. Well, let me ask you, I mean, do you pray? Do you? No. Okay, well then you probably have a tough one with this, right? Because you don't understand why people need to pray. Okay, well I wanna explain something to you. I need to pray about it is not an objection, okay? It could be a stall, but it's not an objection. I, I, I am not a religious person, but I do have faith in God. I'm not a religious, I don't go around and talk to religious stuff everywhere I go. I do believe, I believe in God with all my heart. And I do pray every night. And I pray over him to protect our family and all you guys and all all of us. You know, I do believe that there is a bigger power and, I'd, and God has our back in our favor. So I'm going to explain something. When somebody says they need to pray, I understand that they're wanting comfort and peace. What does God give? In order to understand why people pray, they don't pray for the right answer. They pray for peace. And if you were at peace, you would feel like you had the right answer. Am I right? Does that make sense, yeah. Steve? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Okay. So when your customer says they need to pray about it, they're not at peace, Steve. If you would have done a better job closing, would they have ever said they needed to pray about it? No. Well because they'd have been at more peace, am I right? Yeah. So really, it's not about what do I say when the objection comes up, it's how do I do my job better so that objection doesn't come up. But let's say it did and I did do my job. You see, Steve, I'm not a shy person anymore because I've learned that getting me shy gets me broke. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. Right now is the time to take yourself to a whole new level. Listen, the market is gonna demand you to get more skill right now than you've ever needed to have. And if you do, not only will you become great, but you're gonna make more money than you ever imagined. I would love to talk to you. Tell me what you need help with. Text me right now. If you see on the screen, my cell phone number is 918-210-0254. Let me say that again, 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text message. Tell me what you need help with. I'll reach out and call you. Let's take you to the next level. Let's get back to the video. Also, I've learned this, that I'm actually a genuinely good person. You know what that means? I'm not a fraud. I'm not fake. I don't have a problem saying, hey, give me your hand. What do you mean? I'm going to ask you to give me your hand. I'm not telling you you can't leave if you want to, but I'm going to ask you to give me your hand. I believe also. I'm going to pray over the deal, and if it's meant to be, let's do it. Can I say a prayer for us? Can I? I mean, I'm asking you whether you buy the car or not, would you be upset if I did pray with us? Would you? No? Cool, then let's just pray. Let's not make any decisions till after the prayer. And I'm just going to say, hey, God, put him at peace, man. You know, I'm sure they prayed about coming here. I'm sure they prayed about the opportunity to get a car when it came. So now that it's here, I mean, did the prayer get answered? Maybe. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it did. Okay, Let's do Andy. It. Yes, sir. Uh, what, what kind of prayer? Like right off the top of your head, what kind of prayer would you give to that customer? Man, it depends on who they are. I mean, I, I believe in Jesus. I mean, so it'd be like maybe they believed in like Muhammad or something, you know, like it might be a different So Maybe say like a generic prayer, like just like, hey God, give us peace, you know? I mean, obviously every day, every day, we have to make decisions, part of life. You gave us choices. You told us you were gonna give us choices to make. And I truly believe that this truck that Mr. and Mrs. Johnson today is gonna keep them, keep, keep them safe. And I'd like to ask you to surround these beautiful people with your strongest angels. Protect them. Thank you for keeping them at peace and for giving us the opportunity to get to know each other. Look forward to a long relationship with them. Man, Amen. that's awesome. That's it. I mean, just be real, guys. I mean, you know what I learned? You guys will understand this. Closing isn't some deal that you just blurt out. It's it's not. It's learning how to say things to make your words flow like water and being prepared. Why? Because people are around so many amateurs all the time that it's nice when you're comforted by a professional. I mean, I want you to think about this. Somebody dies at a funeral, okay? They could get a guy to speak at the funeral about the person that just died and like slaughter that funeral by doing a bad job and being like, hey, you know, this guy, you know, he's a good guy, right? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was just a good dude, man. It was just his time. Everybody's like, oh, sh man, who is this guy? Or the guy gets up there and is like, man, you know, this guy, this guy made our life better when he was here. He's still with us, you know? And they do the funeral the right way. People are in certain places in life to help make things easier for other people, okay? And I'm praying that you guys, funny, I said I'm praying, I'm praying that you guys would literally understand that your words, one word can make a woman fall in love with you, one word can make her fall out of love with you. 
one word. So we gotta use our words wisely. And, and I'm not going back to the Bible, but I will tell you this, there's, there's lots of things in the Bible that were done that were all selling. And it's funny that he said that, but I just wanna say that like, I truly believe that, you know, are your words pleasing to hear? Are they, okay? I worked very hard in life to learn new skill, new word tracks, new ways to say things, and to never sound like anybody else they've ever spoke to. That's my goal. My goal, I'm gonna make you guys the best speakers in the entire world, I guarantee it. But I will tell you this, you you will have to study this long after. This meeting, this is a meeting to get you ready for the training. That The real training starts when we're off the meeting. Writing down the word track, saying it over and over, memorizing it, and then literally you adopting it in the way that you speak and making sure that you can make it sound nice and smooth. I said become machine-like in the ability to negotiate closed transactions and you'll be forever well healthy. Hey, closed transactions. There are those, there's two types of people in this world. Those that close and those that don't. There is no middle ground. No middle ground.